Hey everybody, this is Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm in Word and I'm going to show you how to calculate form fields, especially when you're working with invoices. And what I've done here is I've just created a makeshift invoice for us to use. And I have item or item description, price, quantity, tax, shipping, subtotal, and total. I have some formulas up here that I'm going to use a little bit later, but we don't need those right this second. So the first thing that we want to do is start entering form fields or fields that can be either entered manually or calculated. So from my developer tab, we're going to go to legacy forms and we're just going to enter a text form field. And then I'm going to copy and paste these down to each line because we're going to need them for every line item we have here. Okay. So let's go back up to price and let's double click here. And we get a box that pops up that is form field options. So we're going to go in and define a couple of things. First, we're going to tell it that the type is a number. And we're going to tell it that it is a dollar amount, which is what this looks like here. And then our bookmark is the same as what our field is named. And then we're going to make sure that we click calculate on exit and OK. Let's go to quantity. It also is a number, but the format on it is going to be zero because it's not going to be a currency. It's not going to be a percent. It's just going to be a number. So we'll check that. And then we're going to name this quantity. And we're going to tell it calculate on exit. And tell it okay. For our tax, it is a number and it is going to be a percentage, which is down at the bottom here. So we're going to click percentage. Now you could put a default amount here if you have a tax amount that's not going to change. However, if you're shipping between states, then you might want to leave this blank and have that entered manually so you make sure that you have the correct tax rate for each state. And then we're going to name this one tax. Calculate on exit and OK. For shipping, it's a number. It is a dollar amount, so we're going back to that one there. And we're going to name this one shipping and calculate on exit and tell it OK. Now for subtotal and total, that's where we're going to use these. They are not going to be fields that are going to be entered. They are going to be fields that are going to automatically calculate based on this other information that is entered. So I'm going to copy and paste this first formula here because that is our subtotal formula. And in our type, instead of choosing number, even though it is going to be a number, we're going to tell it calculation. And default text change to expression. So I'm going to paste that in there. And that's basically telling it for the subtotal to calculate price times quantity. And we're going to change the name to subtotal. And fill in enabled here is grayed out because it is a calculated field. So no one can make changes to that field once we restrict the form. It'll just be done in the background via this calculation. And we're going to tell it calculate. And we're going to tell it OK. And I'm glad it did this because that shows that I forgot to do something. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of glad when I make mistakes so you all can see what I do. Because chances are somebody else is going to do it and be like, what did I just do? So because this has a zero, I'm like, that's supposed to be a dollar amount. That doesn't look quite right. So let's double click on it. And I forgot to tell it my number format. So it's going to default to a number. So I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to tell it a number, tell it OK, and that looks better. Now I'm going to copy and paste this into our total amount. Now there's something I need to explain in here. Let's go ahead and tell it calculation. Get that pasted in there. Let me not forget to pick my number format this time. And I'm going to name this subtotal. No, I'm not. I'm going to name it total and calculate on exit. Now, if you look, our subtotal formula was price times quantity. 
it seems like that our total formula would be subtotal plus tax plus shipping. We can't do that. Word cannot handle an embedded formula or calculation within a field. So we have to spell it all back out for Word for it to be able to handle this calculation and do it correctly. So let's tell it OK. So now that we've done that, let's go restrict editing. And we want to go to number two and make sure that it says filling in forms. And then yes, we want to start enforcing protection. We're not going to put a password on this for right now. So let's say our price is $15. Okay, we've got a quantity of two, $30 and $30. Let's say our tax rate is 6%. See what it did when I put in that six? It put in 600. So we need to put in 0 0.06. And then it translates it to 6%. So that's $31.80, which is correct. Now let's say that we have $10 shipping. Now it changes it to $41.80. And that is how you calculate form fields in Word especially for invoices. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like it, subscribe to my channel, and get notified. I'll be back tomorrow with another tutorial. Thanks so much for watching.